Okay, so hello guys. My name is Jan Abel Deza, and I am here to discuss all about language categories. So there are four categories of languages: imperative, functional, logic, and object-oriented. First, we will discuss all about imperative languages. A subcategory of an imperative language is visual language. The most popular visual languages are the .NET languages. These languages or their implementations include capabilities for drag and drop generation of code segments. Such languages were once called fourth generation languages, although that name has fallen out of use. The visual languages provide a simple way to generate graphical user interfaces to programs. For example, using Visual Studio to develop software in the .NET languages. The code to produce a display of a form control, such as a button or a text box, can be created with a single keystroke. These capabilities are now available in all of the .NET languages. So, we're done with imperative. Next category is the functional. So, what is functional? Functional programming is a style of programming that emphasizes the evaluation of expressions rather than the execution of commands. A great example of this is the Erlang programming language. It is described as a functional programming language. Erlang avoids to use global variables that can be used in common by multiple functions since changing such a variable in a part of a program may have unexpected effects in another part. So, next category is the logic programming. Uh, a logic programming language is an example of a rule-based language. So, in an imperative language, an algorithm specified in great detail, and the specific order of executions of the instructions or statements must be included. In the rule-based language or in logical, logic programming language, rules are specified in no particular order. Unlike in the imperative, the <coughs> rules or the, the rules are specified in a particular order. And the implementation system must choose an order in which the rules are used to produce a desired result. This approach to software development is radically different from those you'd use with, with the other two categories of languages and clearly requires a complete different kind of languages. A great example of logic programming language is Prolog. Prolog is a general purpose language purpose language associated with artificial intelligence and computational linguistics. So next category is or the last uh, is object oriented. So we all know about object oriented programming language because we has tackled we already had tackled it in first semester. So, object-oriented programming is a programming language model organized around objects rather than actions and data rather than logic. A great example of this is Java. So, why do we consider Java as object-oriented? So, in Java, we need to create classes and object before we can code something. A great example of this also is COBOL and C Sharp. So, that is all for categories of languages, in programming languages. So, thanks for listening, guys. Goodbye.